Good evening and thank you so much for joining us for News 2 at 11. I'm Erin Morgan. We are continuing to follow that developing news that we first reported to you earlier. Former state representative and Lowcountry pioneer Arthur Ravenel Jr. has died. And this evening, Ravenel's son Thomas made that announcement on Twitter. News 2's Kevon Dupree joins us live from the roof here at News 2. And Kevon, you heard from several local leaders about the impact that Ravenel had here over the years. Aaron, as you can see behind me, the Arthur Ravenel Jr. Bridge, which was named after Arthur Ravenel Jr. for his help in getting it constructed here back in the early 2000s. And earlier today, I spoke with local leaders, and they say Ravenel Jr. is the epitome of a great leader. I knew Arthur my whole life. I talked to him just a couple of weeks ago on the phone. Um, it's it's um, almost hard to imagine low country without Arthur Ravenel. Local leaders trying to wrap their heads around the death of a giant in South Carolina politics. I just can't say enough good things about him and the fact that he's going to be dearly missed. Cousin Arthur, as he was affectionately known, served the Lowcountry at all levels in both the State House and Senate, as well as the United States House of Representatives. He wanted to come back and make a real difference locally. Mount Pleasant Mayor Will Haney says Ravenel's continued commitment to improving the area's transportation infrastructure will have impacts for generations to come. His persistence and his doggedness got us the bridge that bears his name, and it is the single biggest piece of infrastructure with the single biggest effect on the town of Mount Pleasant of anything that has ever been built in this area. Ravenel's legacy also includes helping African Americans attain key roles in government. He was a trailblazer in that regard. Uh, he will be known for someone that just worked with everybody to get the work done for citizens of the state and uh, specifically within his dis uh, district. Low country leaders say their cousin Arthur will truly be missed. We're really thankful for the lifetime of service that cousin Arthur gave to the low country and to the state. And leaders from across the Palmetto State continue to show their support for the Ravenel family during this time. And Aaron, I'll send it back to you in the studio so we can see some of those uh, vote, uh, sentiments of support via social media. Yvonne, thank you. That's right. Tonight, many public figures are responding to the low country's loss. U.S. Representative Nancy Mace responded on Twitter saying, quote, Today we lost a great friend of the Low Country and former representative of SCO1, Arthur Ravenel Jr. Our prayers are with the Ravenel family this evening. State Senator Lindsey Graham also responded. He said, quote, Very sad to hear about the passing of former Congressman Arthur Ravenel, who led one of the most eventful lives in South Carolina politics. He was a larger-than-life character, end quote. And Governor McMaster also responded saying, quote, Arthur Ravenel was a giant of a man. He loved and fought for everything that makes South Carolina great. His remarkable legacy will live on in our love for our people, our heritage, and our blessings of nature. He went on to say, Peggy and I hold the Ravenel family in our hearts and prayers, end quote. 